my journey with mental health started just after losing my old man. I, I, the last thing I thought I should do is raise awareness for it and talk about it. In fact, for four years, I bottled it up and hid it, put a front on and lied and pretended it weren't there. So not only was I in a horrible position, I was just watching it go by without saying anything. A big part to play in my mental health battle was what next? And well, what I mean by that is I got told at the age of 18 and then again at the age of 21 that I couldn't have children. So when I um, came back from Australia and travelling and when I actually spoke out, I thought, well, what next? I can't have a family. What's my purpose? What am I doing? It had come from two different doctors. I was soon to be told, soon to realise, I had zero chance of having kids. Finally, after all them years, and when I did speak out, what a relief. And it was the start of getting better. Um, and then I slowly started realising how important it is to, to do something to try and raise awareness for mental health. Why is it important that we do it? Why aren't the people higher up doing this? Well, let me just show you why in one picture. This is the House of Commons on mental health. I'll put a picture up now. What, what, what's all that about? There's no one in there. That's how important raising awareness of mental health is to these people. Us, the people suffering, the people that have seen people suffering, we need to come together. And luckily, my community here on this channel, we have. Yes, this is Adam in the wild. But this is our channel, this is our journey, and this is our message. Hi guys, it's a, a very important message that Adam's trying to spread um, and it is most definitely okay not to be okay. Um, make sure that you go and speak to somebody. That's something that I found helped myself. Problem shared is a problem halved. Hello you lovely people. Being asked by Adam, was an absolute top bloke racking channel, uh, doing a fantastic job raising awareness uh, for mental health. So my message is, it is okay not to be okay. Yo guys, it's okay not to be okay, oh yeah. A uh, quick little message. Um, Adam's doing a terrific job and uh, raising awareness for mental health. So like I said, it's okay not to be okay. There's plenty of people to speak to, including Adam himself. Um, never suffered with mental illness myself, but I know a lot of people who have and who's currently dealing with it. And like I said, I've lost few people in my life due to the illness so don't bottle it in speak to someone because there's help out there so like I said it's okay not to be okay just a quick note on mental health don't bottle it up if you've got a problem speak to someone about it friends or relatives just remember it's okay not to be okay Good luck, guys. Mental illness is a real thing. It's okay not to be okay. Keep it real, people, from the Mooster. I'm here if you ever want me. Hi, I love a walk here. Um, just to let you know that if you only remember one thing today and any other day, that it's always okay to not be... Okay. Take care. See you soon. Bye. 
going back to the part which really, really me and my mental health struggle, thinking, you know, I can't have children, I can't have a family, the doctors have said so. I battled on, I stayed positive, and I proved the doctors wrong. What is it? Are we having daddy daughter day? Are we having daddy daughter day? What do you say to everyone? Oh uh, uh, yeah! We can do anything. You can do anything. You are worth something. You are okay if you're not okay. Keep fighting. Speak out.